In the previous step, we installed our first WordPress theme and changed the appearance of our website completely. As mentioned, our hosting imported some of the demo content into our team such as products, product category, blog posts, comments and media to showcase us how our website will look. Since we do not need this demo content, it is a very good idea to remove it entirely. Also, this will be a good practice for you to learn how to navigate through WordPress and WooCommerce without a fear to mess something up. The first thing we are going to remove are the plugins. The plugins are pre-written pieces of code which add the functionality of our website. Having too many plugins can cause website slowdown and also compatibility issues. Do not go crazy with plugins. Well, let's remove the plugins in the SiteGround edit automatically. Click on the plugins in, this, in the dashboard and click Installed plugins. Remove the Hello Dolly plugin by simply deleting it clicking this button here. Since the plugin is deactivated already, you can delete it right away. Jetpack is a very feature-rich plugin, but I personally think it adds a bunch of unnecessary features and overkills the performance of the website. While you can keep it, I usually remove it from all of my websites. Since the plugin is active, first we need to deactivate it. Click Deactivate and confirm the change. Now click delete and remove the plugin completely. Let's now remove some of the demo products. To delete a demo product, click on the products tab and select all products. In the top right corner, use the check field to select all of the dummy products our hosting imported for us. Go over to bulk actions, drop menu button and select move to trash. Click the apply button to apply the change. This will remove our products to trash, but if you want to completely remove it from your website, go to trash link here above. Permanently deleting is identical to removing the products to trash. Sh select all the products in the trash, choose the delete permanently from the drop down menu and then click apply. All of the products are now deleted completely from your website. Let's now remove the demo product categories. Go to Products tab and click Categories. In the checkbox select All and click on the Bulk action and choose Delete. Click Apply button to confirm the changes. The default category name Uncategorized can be removed. All of your products which do not have a category assigned later on will go into this category. The process of removing demo posts and comments from the WordPress is very similar to removing the products. Hover over the posts and then click all posts. Find the demo post here and click on the trash. Again, all of the posts will be moved to trash first. So head back to trash link here above and click delete permanently. Confirm the change. So we removed the demo post, blog post. Let's now remove the demo comment. In the, our dashboard menu or the sidebar, click on the comments. As you can see, this is the demo content. Click trash to remove it to the trash and go to trash and delete it permanently. Okay, enough with deleting, removing and trashing. I wanted you to get used to the interface and navigating through the, through the WordPress and WooCommerce without the fear of mess something up. Now that you're a little bit comfortable, it's time to build stuff. In the next step, we'll set up WooCommerce and configure the basic settings. So things are going to get very interesting in the next step.